let's say that we'd already formed an associative array. And after we create it, we realize, oh, we really should have performed some editing on that initial shrub that we used to form the array. So do we have to explode? Do we have to start over? No, what we have is the ability to use the edit source function, which allows us to simply go ahead and select the base shrub within the array that we used to form it. And now we'll be prompted if we'd like to edit the source objects in the array. Now, please note that you have to type array close to exit out of this editing state when we're done. So we'll revisit that later. And this is a, a little sub environment that's not unlike a block editor in, or in place reference editing uh, would be a good analogy. Simply a shortcut for a way to you to zoom in on that base shrub and make some changes to it. So we'll acknowledge that. Now that we're in the array editing state, we can go ahead and zoom in on this object and make some changes to it. For the purposes of this example, what we'll do is just change the colors to a nice fall foliage. So I'll use the change command to do this. And we'll go ahead and select the top of the shrub and then remove the trunk. and we'll change its color property to a nice red. Now we can see that change being propagated through the other objects within the array. In order for us to finalize our changes, we need to type in array close. Enter, and then say yes, we do want to save the changes to the array. We'll go ahead and answer that yes and wait for the processing to conclude. Once the processing is complete, you can see that these changes have been applied from the one object all the way back to all the objects within the associative array. So this is a real straightforward way to go back in and make changes globally to the entire associative array while you only have to edit the one object. There's no explosion, no erasing, no starting over. Everything remains fully associative. This is a great way to save some clicks and picks when working with complex arrays.